I want us to do a quick tarot reading because I have the tarot cards pulled for the collective. And then we are going to do tarot card pulls for each member of the membership, the 13 men's membership. And also the members will move into their yoga nidra practice. Let's start with the past card that I pulled for this moon. Temperance. By the way, I'm pulling from the Guardian of the Night Tarot. One of my favorites, especially during eclipses. There's these moons and bees. Reminds me of harvest. But we have this frog in the water, half in, half out. There's a cup in the water. You can see that chalice down there representing our sacred, sacral waters, creative spaces, intuition. We also have the moon above, a full moon, a bit of a blood moon, so it's an eclipsed moon. And it's shining down on the waters. I love that we pull this card for our past because we have been in this eclipse series since 2023. We also pull this for our past because we just entered into Virgo season back in August. And temperance would be the Virgo card if there was ever a card to represent Virgo energy. It's modesty, mindfulness, being demure, which is funny because that's very popular right now as this Virgo season has gotten more popular. But this is moderation, one fit in the water, one out, balance, the frog represents both lives. We can be in the magical, the intuitive, the sacred, the spiritual, but we can also be in the everyday, the mundane, the going through the motions, the routine. We find ritual within it all. This temperance card is reminding us to treat ourselves while also paying attention to others, to be in our practices of spirituality while also being in just our daily hygiene that supports our physical health and wellness, and also to be a little bit patient right now and not so reactive, be more proactive. Venus is also in Virgo right now, being very mindful with the way that we choose our thoughts and our expressions and our behaviors and how we react. Also, we might have a need to treat ourselves right now with this Venus-Jupiter combo, or maybe we're healing our inner child, Venus opposing Chiron, and helping us to maybe treat ourselves a little bit more with what our inner child was denied. Everything in moderation. Don't get into the addictive spaces with this Pisces moon. Find what you need to make yourself feel good and maybe heal a little bit of yourself that you've been working on, but also be able to come out of those emotional waters that might pull you down from time to time and dry out and let the moon illuminate the next steps ahead for you to leap to. I also love this as a frog as we're entering the eclipse season where we can literally leap into our next evolution in an accelerated way. Also, for the present card, I pulled a reversed Ten of Pentacles. We have all these bees buzzing around, all these pentacles, these flowers. And typically, this is about sharing your resources, right? Like hard work pays off, you're successful, and now you're sharing the resources. When it's reversed, it's the opposite of that. To share the resources with yourself. While you may want to shower others with your successes, let it be on yourself first. And maybe that's just rewarding yourself with rest right now with this full moon being in Pisces. The world is very noisy right now. There's a lot of chatter. Maybe you turn within and silence all of that buzzing with more meditation, rest, relaxation. Maybe it's tonight in this yoga nidra practice. If you're watching the replay and you're not a part of the membership, maybe you join the membership, grab the replay and get this rest practice. But this is about showering yourself, taking care of yourself, self-care, treating yourself a little bit as well. And anytime you invest in yourself, right, this is also about investing in yourself right now, investing in your dreams and the work it takes to get there and the energy it takes to get there and the efforts it takes to get there. When you invest in yourself, you always see a return tenfold or more. And we have the 10 of Pentacles, which represents endings and beginnings and very prosperous, exciting new chapters to come. For our future card, Upright, I pulled the Five of Wands. This card's got a beaver trying to build his dam amongst a stormy, stormy amount of water. But he's going to get it done because he's diligent. 
and he has his intention and his mind and his energy focused on the task. Eclipse season is rocky and stormy. We're going to have challenging times. We're going to feel a tug of war. We're going to be presented with crossroads to stay where we are in an old version of ourselves or step into a new version of ourselves. We're going to be challenged to stay on track or fall off and give up. We're going to have to stick to it right now. Anytime we have the five of wands, it's a lot of projects and fires that we're tending and a lot of wounds that we're healing and a lot of things that we have to deal with overall. But if we can just stick to it, eventually the storm will calm, the waters will recede, and our house will be standing strong. So build the framework, build the groundwork right now for the life that you are trying to create. And you might not see it until this other side of eclipse season. You might not see it until summer of next year. You might not see it a year from now. You might not see it until farther in. But stick to it so that you continue to get the energy there because energy flows where intention goes. This is the reading I have for the collective tonight, loves. I hope that it is relative for your full moon energy and this eclipse portal you're about to navigate through.